Anyway, to get into this, let's start with spline instead of auto. So auto is the default and let's start with spline. So now that we're here, we're going to grab the whole curve. You can just select through the middle of a curve to select every single key on it. Nice and easy. And we'll just hit the spline button there. Now what spline will do is you'll see it actually changes the curves quite radically in this example. And that is because every single keyframe will have an angle that represents pointing from that keyframe to that keyframe. So if we were to draw a line through here, nice and easily that line there is actually the slope of the tangent so if we come into this one here we can see that that keyframe to that keyframe is a slant about that so that we know that this is going to go about that angle and you can see that by selecting it this one here we can see that the next keyframe is here and that keyframe is there. So we can sort of imagine that that's going to be on that sort of an angle and you can see it there. Now this one here will just point directly to that one because there is no other keyframe on the other side and same with this one. So this one will actually point directly as an arrow flies straight to the next keyframe. And that's all that spline is. So the more that we move these, the more that this other keyframe here will change. Okay, it won't change that keyframe when we move it, but will change this one because that one's going to be quite straight now. Whereas if we put it right up on an angle, that is now going to move to that way. So that's spline. It's nice and easy to get. It's a good basic one.